Yeah. So once again, a very warm Sunday morning to each one of you who are in this particular session. The session that we are talking of today is about <clears throat> how to select the good college. In other words, a topmost engineering college and uh, how to go ahead in selecting the good branch so that the future is secured and settled. Now, what is the criteria? What, why, why are we looking at engineering colleges? I'm not dealing with neat colleges today because the time that we have allotted 40 minutes to one hour is sufficient enough only to discuss the engineering colleges and uh, the five top courses that you need to select. When we were in our uh, intermediate uh, course, the number of engineering colleges were hardly less. Today, a student who is getting 20,000 or 30,000 rank in MSET or NEET is able to get a seat in any engineering college of any branch. But in our days, the number was less. The number of engineering colleges were less. And it was difficult for us to enter into engineering colleges. Now that the number of colleges have increased, number of courses have increased, technology has changed, corporate thought process has changed, and new innovations have been brought into the system, new methodologies have brought into the system. So the number of engineering colleges have grown up. It have multifolded themselves, and it has become difficult for a child to choose which college and why to choose that college in particular or which branch to choose and why to choose that particular branch. It is important because the settlement of one's career is always important. We always in teenage feel there is a lot of time for us. There is nothing to worry. Parents are there to look after. What is the need to hurry? And specifically in the present generation, you find that there is a good amount of time. We can talk about it later. There are few who are serious enough in pursuing their career in the form of maybe preparing GRE or TOEFL or IELTS to go into foreign universities. But let us first look at what is indigenous. What is it that is important for us to look within India before we go for the other countries, foreign countries? I would like to share some of an, one of the interesting information before uh, I further continue. Just give me a time. I hope you are able to see. Anyone can respond? Yeah, yes, sir. We are able to. Yeah. Now the sheet that I'm sharing is the ranking that has been given to engineering colleges by NIRF, which is looked after by the Ministry of Human Resource Department. This NIRF, National Institutional Ranking Framework, it has been ranking the engineering colleges on various parameters. And every year it publishes the top 100 engineering colleges and based upon which the students go ahead for the selecting right college for their career. Now, what are the parameters that have been selected or what are the parameters upon which this ranking was made by the National Institutional Ranking Framework, Ministry of Human Resource Department, which has published this particular ranking in the year 2020, and that is last year. So if you look at the parameters on the right-hand side, if you look at the parameters on the right-hand side, uh, if, please respond if you are able to see. Teaching, learning, and resources, TLR. This is the first parameter they look for. What is the student strength? What is the faculty-student ratio? What is the faculty experience? And uh, the financial resources and utilization. This is the first parameter, TLR, teaching, learning, and resources that are used by any institute student strength to what maximum extent, and again, to what ratio, whether the student is able to get the experience of the faculty to a particular individual, and the experience of the faculty, which can be helping the child in learning the concept, learning the subject, and understanding the projects that they have to do, or a research part, and then whether they are able to go with the financial resources. The second one is RP, Research and Professional Practice. 
uh, institute specifically an engineering institutes credibility ranking is based on the number of papers that they publish number of papers quality of publications how many patents and how many projects have been done by that particular institute or the student or the professor of that particular institute the third parameter that they have gone for is graduation outcomes how many of them have graduated with what percentage with what grade points cgpa or sgpa how many postgraduate postgraduates are there how many phd students are there and then outreach and inclusivity how many of the students are from other states whether other countries how many of them have joined this particular institutes from other states and other countries how many students belong to the women category how many physically handicapped uh, category seats have been filled and then last but not the least is peer perception who are the academic peers and who are the employers who are coming over to that particular institute to go for the recruitment in the campus this is most important one because ultimately at the end of the academic year at the end of the graduation one always looks to get an important employment they look for a good employer who can take care of uh, not just the wages but of their well being in future too not succumbing to pressure not putting them putting the employees to pressure and at the same time get the maximum benefit so these are the five parameters that uh, national institutional ranking framework under the purview of mhrd have taken and accordingly they have ranked the colleges now if you look at the first important uh, one it is indian institute of technology iit madras it uh, has a score of 89.93 each parameter has been given certain number and the sum of all those values when added up it gave 89.93 iit madras now that is the reason why if you look at the first uh, 10 top 10 except for nit tiruchinappalli the remaining all are either iits or iits now you understand why all the parents and students prefer to get the children admitted into iits not just in terms of uh, the uh, what we call uh, the tag of iitn but also in terms of getting the good lucrative offers once the career uh, once their graduation is over iit madras stands first iit delhi indian institute of technology bombay then uh, karakpur roorki gauhati hyderabad indian institute of technology hyderabad which started few years back but it is almost ranking in the eighth position nit tiruchinappalli national institute of technology tiruchinappalli among all the iits and nits i think nit tiruchinappalli has a better uh, position with ninth rank and then indoor 10th rank now if i consider only from the telangana region or andhra region i take andhra pradesh and telangana only if i look at this nit varangal stands among 19th position i i i t indian institute of information technology 43rd position jntu 57th position koneru lakshmiya educational foundation klu university 58th position usmania college of engineering 69 sorry college of engineering visakhapatnam 69 Usman University 88 and uh, Kakinada University 97. So if I look at only Telangana and Andhra, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven institutes which can be selected. So now you can also understand why people always look for NIT Varangal. Earlier, all the NITs were referred as RECs, Regional Engineering Colleges. So with respect to Telangana and Andhra, these are the colleges. I go with overall. if i go with overall did you see it one of you please confirm did you go through that andhra and telangana was it visible yes sir yeah so the reason for why always a child look for iit colleges is because of this particular reason now how do we approach this iits i think you all have been doing that for the past two years those who have attended I mean, the students of second year who are attending this session you all have been practicing it you have already written the mains examination students of second incoming second year who have joined this session you all you are also aware of the process 
you need to qualify your mains examination once you qualify your mains examination you become eligible for advanced the difference between the eligibility and uh, getting a seat in uh, the colleges on the basis of mains is a different process you get qualified for advanced that doesn't mean that you are getting a seat in nit seat in nit again is based on your rank that you score and uh, your local ranking that you get to get into the nit varangal if you are from the telangana region so there are different ways in which you have to look at it a student of women category which has 33% reservation has a better opportunity to get into these colleges even if their ranking is little away from the expected now this year unlike the previous years the number of students have attempted the exam are less last year there were about 8 lakhs to 9 lakhs who have attended whereas this year only 6 and 1/2 lakh students have attended obviously because of the covid situation and uh, we have to check for the third and third and fourth uh, model examinations that might be conducted in the coming days and we have to check for how many more students will join this particular fourth third and fourth attempt of mains once you get qualified for mains you need to write the advanced model examination advanced model examination has two papers paper 1 and paper 2 but again there also you might get a rank in iit but that may not fetch you a good seat in these colleges because if i count the number of seats in these institutes assuming that if i go with computer science each institute has about 60 seats so if i consider top 10 iit 600 seats are available again among these 600 seats 50% of the seats go for reservation remaining 50% are for open seats that means among these top institutes if you want to get computer science you should your rank in all over india should be below 300 or below 500 if it's a reserve category you can go up to 1000 because there is a 50% reservation so if you get a rank of 5000 that doesn't mean that you are getting a seat in the indian institute of technology under computer science you may get a seat in any other branch apart from computer science but the most preferred most preferred uh, course that anyone looks for is computer science i'll also explain you the reasons for it likewise if you want to go for the second most one the mechanical engineering or aeronautical engineering or the uh, um, electrical and electronics then accordingly you should be knowing to what extent you should score your rank because qualifying the examination is different ranking is different so ultimately what fetches you the seat in these colleges is not the qualifying mark but the good decent rank within the limits of those seats so you should be knowing the number of seats in each of these departments in each of these institutes and then calculate what would be the possible ranking that you should score if you are an open category student if you are a reserved category student you should also be knowing what would be the last rank where the seat was uh, offered to the student that is the seat getting cut off rank and once you know that your preparation should go accordingly preparation when you do it blindly without any planning you might qualify you might get a rank but you may not get a seat that you have desired so this is with respect to the top 100 colleges i'll just scroll it down the top 10 i have put it in green then uh, the remaining 30 up to 30 i have put it in uh, the navy blue bhu in institute of technology school of mines karnataka nit anna university vit roorkela jadavpur university chemical technology national institute varangal have we have discussed amruta about 100 are there you can if you want to have a look of it you can go for the site national institute ranking framework nirf you can go into this site and you can find the ranking of 2017 18 19 and 20 this ranking that i have taken for you for consideration is the ranking of 2020 and also the parameters are given here now if you look at the top courses top five courses in engineering colleges are you able to see this yes sir if you look at uh, the top five courses in engineering colleges i have segregated them into four columns the course what would be the better combination if you are selecting this course not necessary that it might be in iit but anywhere when you join 
these are the possible combinations that you can look for reason for taking that particular branch and what would be the job category that you will get it now the reason for why we always prefer these five courses is because if you look at for the past few years technology has brought a lot of revolutions the innovation of new machines new languages being coded i mean uh, being uh, written by the uh, um, scientist or uh, the coding people have brought in lot of changes and uh, it has fetched lot more scope for the students to explore different areas for learning different areas for getting employment now what have they done in the recent past is iot internet of things data science machine learning app development I have not included few other artificial intelligence, cyber security, blockchain. I have put it in the combinations. And if you look at the medical field today, medical field has taken two important things into consideration: instrumentation and computer science. Even mechanical engineering part also have changed their equipment. They have brought in both the computer inbuilt uh, machines for their performance. So lots and lots of changes have brought in. lot of revolution i would call it as technology revolution has been brought into this particular system so now it has thrown one big challenge for the students any student who is well equipped with these sort of courses they are ready to get jobs their settlement is very fast so the reason for why majority of the students choose computer sciences because these days the combinations are deadly the lethal combination of computer science with artificial intelligence right data science machine learning cyber security blockchain internet of things now you also should be perfect with few other uh, coding programs java c c++ python which anyway will be taught in this particular branch so now if you look at even the uh, recent uh, applications which i think uh, mains and advanced uh, uh, institutes i mean uh, the Uh, institutes which are conducting these examinations have brought in is they have brought in artificial intelligence into the operation that is how they are successful in conducting the examinations and believe me in future artificial intelligence will also help you to identify many more things in fact people are working on this artificial intelligence robotics is another branch which uses this particular artificial intelligence and there is also a statement which says that if number of robots production has increased then the human hours will decrease employment will decrease there is nothing like that they will come out with some more employment now what are the reasons for choosing computer science as a top most branch one because it has a bright career prospect it can help you in learning the problem solving skills programming and it helps you to become a leader because in all these corporate colleges they come out with one leadership program there will be a team leader and for every five members five employees there will be one team leader who has to take care of the project not only in its uh, implementation execution but also in shaping it up so that the client is satisfied with whatever the uh, needs that they wanted and they are expecting from the employer then what are the possibilities that you get entered into you will be either a system analyst or you can be a web developer you can be a finance programmer if it's an accounting software software engineer product manager game developer these days majority of them are trying to be into game development right that pubg and i think india has come out with another game called fauj right call on duty if you look at all these games there were games earlier too but now the games have become much more uh, different in comparison with what we have played on the computer and jobs sectors can be finance trading science engineering you have a good opportunity to move around the world and the biggest advantage of it is high pay perks why students these days are preferring engineering ahead of medicinal courses the settlement of life is fast by the time you reach the 21st year you are already into campus selection your pay pack changes depending upon the institute that you are in if you are in iits your pay pack might start with 16 lakhs 9 lakhs 12 lakhs 20 lakhs it can even go to 50 lakhs 1 crore last two years back there was a student who got about 1.37 crores as a pay pack in the very first year and she was none other than my friends my childhood friends uh, elder brother's daughter and uh, 
the scope of you going around the world uh, with uh, with respect to the projects will be much higher you get an opportunity to move around the world provided you show your talent and skills in your job fold so that would be the first course that any student would look for now it, it is immaterial whether you are joining an iit institute or a local engineering colleges i have my personal experiences with me my sister's daughter has joined stanley she has uh, done two years of uh, job in infosys then she had got a gre mark went into uh, uh, american Un university there she has done uh, her ms and after that she has joined deloitte so what you have done in your engineering has gone behind what you have done in ms has come forward the initiation of the in, uh, corporate institute was not on the basis of the engineering college background but on the basis of the ms course that she has studied in america then i look at my own children i have twins both of them have done their engineering in vnr institute of uh, technology bachpali and both of them are in campus selections they are in deloitte with a good paper so i have my personal experiences they are also again going uh, for the preparation of gre but now they are working for deloitte so the college is immaterial but at the same time if you are ambitious and if you want to score good amount of uh, rank and then want to get settled in iits the tag is important the reason for why majority of them prefer iits is because the peer group there are many people many different uh, uh, personalities coming over to join in iits you get a good peer group and that is how the startup companies have born you talk of the good companies which have been developed by indian iitians there are good number of startup companies there are few more startup companies coming up recently we have gone for a no broker hood uh, app which takes into con the uh, apartment activities it was nothing but developed by an iitn from bombay so there are big number of startup companies large number of startup companies which come in because there is a good peer group once you gel with your friends you can come out with a good uh, uh, plan and uh, it can become a successful startup company like your flipkart right uh that is one reason why people always look for iitns in fact you are satya nadella or you look at uh, the sundar pichai they are also from iitns most of the top ceos of the reputed american companies they are not, they are the uh, one which come from iit background the second most not many of the people look for is aeronautical engineering aeronautical engineering is uh, another one which you can go for right growing sector considering the innovative future majority of them i think these days i find majority of the people looking for the professional course of aeronautical engineering right there is an exponential growth specifically with respect to indian context because new airplane companies are coming in and it's an evergreen technology it's a profession with high pay you can travel around being a pilot you can be in air traffic controlling maintenance overhauling of aircraft research and development in preparing the various material required for aircraft and even our uh, research and development uh, companies of government like drdo and isro they also prefer to have aeronautical engineering i think this part has got mixed up aeronautical engineering along with computer coding can also be a better option mechanical engineering is a evergreen uh, uh, course it has to be accompanied with little of computer science and autocad because most of the designing is done in autocad and i also have an experience of one student akash i think students of the present second year might have uh, a knowledge of him he came over to the college once and explained shared his experiences he studied mechanical engineering in uh, vasavi college of hyderabad then he has gone to germany where he has performed ms and is continuing his phd and his phd was selected as one of the best projects and he is into now preparing the raw material or explaining or trying to understand the raw material required to prepare a light aircraft for the uh, army i mean uh, 
uh, the German army and is into a topmost position there in the uh, company there. Mechanical engineering has a good amount of growth in Germany, good growth in foreign countries, especially Germany. You can have a good design for a machine in the industry. Automobile industry is always an evergreen industry. You come up with new models, new uh, vehicles, and uh, BHL, Tata Motors, Bajaj, Honda, Isro, Coal India, Navi, Ford Design, they all go with people for mechanical engineering. So mechanical engineering is interesting, provided you have a passion towards machine. And uh, the next one is electrical, electronics, communication, instrumentation, and biotech engineering. I have clipped about three courses in this, electrical and electronics, electrical and electrical electronics and communication instrumentation <clears throat> biotech engineering hardware designing and embedded coding is must if you are in electrical and electronics embedded system learning should be there because these days i told you in the beginning itself the medical companies are looking for instrumentation whether you look at your oximeters today whether you look at uh, the different instruments with which you are trying to check the covid detection these are all based on this electronic signaling system communication. And if today you are coming with 5G, 4G is changing to 5G, if you are looking at 5G uh, networking system, all these are based on electronics and communications. Your solar uh, working is stove works under this particular electronics and communication. So people don't look after uh, the core groups, but core group has its own significance. I would bet a student to prefer electronics and communication, electrical and electronics, if you are genuinely wanting to get into core companies. Core companies may not provide initial papers, but once you get settled in a good core company, it will take you to a very highest position after maybe three years or four years. You need to have patience for a minimum of four to five years. Computer science might fetch you immediate results, and then you might see good payback in the initial stages. But electronics and communication, though many of them are shifting from electronics and communication into computer science, but those who are into core group, if they are patient enough for the first five years, then after I think the life is perfect. Space communication, cellular communication is evolving in every day. So health industry, these days health industry, uh, majority of the students have taken project in healthcare industry, students of third year, engineering who have to go with projects. They have come out with medical healthcare industry as a project work. And uh, um, you can go for sensory. I think your Fitbit that you uh, wear or the uh, equipment that you wear to look after your health uh, with respect to BP or uh, sugar, they are now coming out with uh, a instrument which will not pierce the body. Generally these days to measure the amount of sugar in the body, you have to pierce the body, get the blood out of it, and then take a sample of that blood on the, uh, put it on the instrument to check how much of blood sugar is there. But I think the recent day development is that they don't want to pierce the body. They want to check out how much of sugar level is there in the body on the basis of the sensory uh, equipment. Lot of, lot of technology is involved in it. The companies that recruit are BHCL, ISRO, Red Pine, we Bharat Electricals Limited, BSNL, Power Grid, Larson and Turbo. I think today you look at Metro, Metro trains, they are mostly recruiting these electronics and communication people. One course which I have not mentioned here is civil engineering because there will be a huge demand in the coming years with respect to construction work. Construction work is an everlasting business. Today we are coming out with multi-stories. We are coming out with new innovative designs for the buildings. Civil engineering is everlasting one. But the biggest drawback with civil engineering is companies are preferring to have their own kid and kin. They want their children to take up these courses because that will be helping them to grow up their companies. And there are some parents who are with civil I mean, construction real estate business who want their children to do civil engineering so that they can set up their uh, own designs and then improve their business uh, progress. So civil engineering career is good provided you are willing to get into uh, companies uh, 
famous construction buildings or else you can start on your own with respect to the individual constructions it takes time but once you get settled in civil engineering as a, a architect you have a better future these are the top five courses that i thought would be beneficial under the present uh, scenario this is with respect to the top 100 engineering colleges and then top five courses so any student if he has any doubt can unmute themselves and can come out with their questions can i stop the share anyone has any doubt yeah if sir, anyone uh, has yeah uh, sir madhavi here uh, yeah. so uh, in the list which you have given right top 100 engineering college we haven't seen it properly but um, is it uh, also including except iit uh, colleges um, it's a combination of all uh, let me try to share you once again yeah uh, you can see it it is first uh, 10 goes to iits then you have nits anna university valued university at 15th position Jadavpur University, NIT Varangal, Amrutha Engineering College, NIT Calicut, Vishweshwaraya National Institute, VNIT at Nagpur, Jamia Milia, Birla Institute of Technology, Pilani. You have a combination of all that. Okay. Aligarh Muslim University, SRM University, Kalinga University, Shiva Subramaniam Nadar College of Engineering, Tamil Nadu, Kanchipuram, MIT Manipur Institute, it's a combination of all. It's not just IITs. It's a combination of all. MS Rama Institute has 59th position. Kalasalingam has 68th position. This is all based on the uh, MHRD ranking of 2020. 21 is not yet taken. This is only on the basis of 2020. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, any other? Any other who would like to have any more clarity on this? So students, please understand, joining intermediate just to complete the plus one, plus two may fetch you a certificate, but have a plan for yourself. When you're joining plus one and plus two, if your sibling also is in line and they are in uh, the process of joining plus one and plus two plus uh, going to a good engineering colleges help them in ed educating what would be the possible life after engineering make them understand see you need to always have a plan your plan a works fine plan a doesn't work you also have to go with plan b not all can achieve the dream of iit if you are unable to get into iit then what would be the next possible opportunity and if you in the middle of the academic year feel that engineering is not your cup of tea then you should also have one more plan c which is in tune with the passion that you have because i have a student of last year uh satya indra karan who started with uh, uh, engineering uh, as a choice and at the fag end after two years i mean uh, december uh, before one month before the mains examination started she thought she is not wanting to go for engineering. Then she changed her course and then started preparing for law set. And then now she is into the course of uh, the lawyer advocate uh, profession. She has got herself selected in one of the top colleges and then she's pursuing her career as a lawyer. So please don't be under the impression that uh, your parents have forced you to join this course. You are selecting engineering or medicine. You may even change your track, but decide, decide where you want to land. I always use this word, where do you want to land? If you don't know where you want to land, and then you just end up, end up uh, landing at a place where you are not at all interested, there'll be a lot of frustration in you, a lot of uneasiness in you. You feel like you have uh, wasted your career. Let not that enter into your thoughts. Whatever you choose, choose, choose it with uh, passion, dream about it and try to fulfill that dream. It's not by force. It should be by liking towards that particular profession. There are some who once enter into that profession, start liking, I mean, getting a liking towards the profession that they have chosen. But if that is well-planned, I think you will have a successful future, a happy future, I would say, 
a happy future where you are not subjected to any frustration. Yeah, anything else from my side? Sharwani, Shreya, Srinandan, Sunil Kumar, Tanvi, Ratna Sunandita, Pranavi, Meenakshi, Jayant, Dikshita, Aditya Raj. So if there are no more questions, shall I wind it off? Naveen? Yes, sir. Shall we wind it off? Yes, sir. We'll just give one minute of time. Let us cross check if anyone wants to ask. Yeah, please do not hesitate. Uh, sir, uh, just to continuation what you have just said, like if, uh, you know, kids are uh, uh, right now, I won't say all the kids, but most of them are not clear at this point of time, uh, you know, what uh, they should go for and maybe what they are interested in. Mm, and at later some point of time, um, because uh, this is a very crucial stage where really they have to work hard and get some good uh, rank and uh, to achieve, a, you know, seat in a good college. But yeah. um, uh, now they are not serious, then later at some point of time, if they realize and, you know, they want to, uh, if, uh, uh, I, I, what would be the better uh, opportunities later, uh, you know, to... Um, uh, you settle well or, you know, get a good career options and also. Like... No, if they are unwilling to enter into engineering, that's not the end of life. You can even go with the BBA courses, business management courses, which will get you into MBAs later. And then you can settle your life with a proper uh, MBA course, either in finance or uh, in uh, accounting or human resources. Human resources has a bigger uh, exploration today. And companies are even recruiting people with BCom background. Companies are recruiting with, uh, major consulting companies like Deloitte and uh, uh, other Infosys companies. They are also recruiting people with normal engineering. But I would always suggest whatever you do, have computer science as an additional uh, degree. Some of them are coming with cyber security. Some of them are coming with artificial intelligence as a side course. Some of them mm -hmm. are going with blockchain. I think today it is most of uh, the computer related one that is fetching you a better result. Unless and until you want to get into other courses like chartered accountancy or company secretary. Mm -hmm. So after engineering, MS would definitely yeah. help uh, adding on, right? Uh, yes, in respect of the college that you join in engineering, if you have an MS degree, uh, American companies are recruiting the students from MS immediately. And uh, I think they have a better uh, value. Uh, but I would suggest students going into MS only with one or two years of experience in India. Because after with, uh, I mean, after going there with two years of experience, and once you pursue your MS, the job recruitment is much more easier. And it okay. is not just theoretical, it's an ex uh, practical observation that I've made with all uh, the friend circle of my uh, sister's daughter and son who have gone there directly after doing their engineering and after finishing of two years of uh, job experience and then settling there. The one who have done job here and uh, done their MS, they were settled much more faster. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it is settlement important. Yeah. So, okay. So you say like uh, after engineering, they should work some one or two years here and then pursue MS. So, so for the, for the faster settlement immediately, yes. if after engineering, they do MS. So is it like, um... it, it, and there are jobs. I'll not say there are no jobs, but the settlement will take time because people or companies would prefer those with a little more experience than directly coming from the university. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. But uh, this Sunil, uh, my good yes, morning. Neither. Good morning. How are you? After a long time. Good morning, Ade. Ah, bon, no. All good. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you, sir. Right. To extend with Madhavari Garu itself, you know, the same thing, which uh, because there is uh, no prescribed timeline or this thing. So, what would be the, you know, with your experience, you know? So, uh, I was into a biology student, you know, from there. Uh, 
uh, then I moved to different uh, these things. You know, I was a BPC student. Then I moved to commerce. Then I I have settled in a different way into completely finance. Okay. So uh, in in our days, we are very forward to tell the parents. You know, this is what I need over a period of time at least. Now the kids yes. are not so giving clarity. We are we are we are trying our best to get the clarity. Though we chosen this uh, course for her, but you know, still that dilemma is there. Is it a normal thing or how it is? Sir, unlike our generation where we had a clarity because we used to roam around with friends and we used to have a lot of discussion outside the room. These children are confined to a four wall area where I think computer and phone have become their best friends. So they look at different options in Google and then they do not discuss it with any of the friends nor parents. So they are unable to choose because even schools are not guiding them. At least in our school days, we have some mentor who, who used to help us in telling out this would be the future or this is where you go this would be the better place for you based on the uh, qualities or uh, the uh, type of person you are these days such type of mentoring is not done much in the schools and once they are entering into the college uh, course it is mostly by peer pressure everyone is selecting mpc as a course i prefer mpc everyone is selecting by PC as a course, my best friend is joining by PC, I'm joining by PC. Or maybe my friends have got a good job in so-and-so company because have taken, they have taken computer science, I want to engineering. They are not worried, they are not looking about their strengths and their weaknesses. What is more important is you need to identify your own personality traits. And where do I fit in? Am I logically strong? Am I capable of going with problem-solving skills? Am I doing smart work or am I doing hard work? Hard work anyone can do. But today I think technology involves mostly smart work. So uh, that is the reason why we want the child to understand what are the different courses, what is it that you fit in, whether you will be able to get yourself into a top positions at later part of your career. If not, identify your strength and weakness and select a course. Today every field is open. You take a, you said by PC to commerce to finance. That that is also a wide uh, scope for development. There is nothing like you are not uh, satisfied with it. There is scope there, there is development there. Each and every field has a merit and a demerit. So you need to just look for it. There are people with marketing today. Marketing also is a very good business. So I would suggest the child to have an introspection done and then to know their strengths first and then select the course of their choice rather than going with the peer pressure. I have seen three, four students who joined engineering midway. They have canceled their engineering seat and then they have joined into business uh, courses, BBA, because they were unable to take up that pressure of engineering course. Nothing was understanding. I mean, they were not able to get into the logics of physics or uh, the optics or uh, whatever they feel that they have chosen. Yes, you are rightly uh, correct in uh, the children's point of view. They are not clear with what they want. Yeah, because uh, I'm trying my best to give the exposure of uh, other fields as well. Not only fixing to engineering, but still the dilemma is there. So too many of exposures given also might be, you know, the clarity is missing. I don't know. Uh, I no, don't know about all, this uh, uh, millennials all. mindset, but we are trying and uh, best to give the exposure. Uh, how it works, you know. So we are discussing the topics on that also, e e each and everything apart from studies. Yes, sir. I always look at it this way. I always com communicate the same thing to the child. You keep the doors open. Don't let any door closed and then just try to enter into uh, uh, the outer world through a single door. Keep all the door options and you become the king or queen in selecting which door you want to go in. Okay. It is better to have an exposure to all and that will help them to understand where exactly they are passionate towards to. There right. is hotel management, which is coming out with a lot many innovative things. There is fashion technology. These days, I think that also has come out. Cosmetic industry. Other fields which do not have the engineering requirements. There, there are a lot of fields. Uh, I think Pharma D is one which... Uh, even MPC student can do. The pharma D may not have good amount of uh, uh, career life in India because in India, 
students who have done their MBBS but do not do their MD, they are ones they are the one who are called as duty doctors. MDs are called as professional doctors. But whereas in American uh, countries or in foreign countries, the pharma D students become the medical uh, doctors there. They don't need to have a doctor's degree. So pharma D is another growing uh, branch in uh, India. B pharmacy, if you are wanting to get into research side in pharmaceutical industry. Biotechnology is there. Environmental engineering is another branch. Mechatronics is one more branch. But these are all uh, towards the Middle East and uh, Eastern market, uh, Western market. Yes, yes, yes. There is oil and uh, technology, petroleum industry, which has a great demand in uh, the Eastern countries. So one takeaway is give exposure and uh, give it to them. Yeah, the, the advantage of giving exposure to the child is the child is aware of the plus and minus of that particular field and to what extent they can penetrate in. So they will have a better idea of which one to choose rather than getting into the only one entrance that they have. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So one more question from my end. Um, uh, like you said, introspection needs to be done. So who can help us with that, uh, uh, you know, to understand their capabilities, their interests and all? Uh, yeah, you can come down to college on any day, sit with the faculty who have taught them because the faculty knows them better because of the way they respond in the class, the way the questions are asked by them, the way they solve their problems, the approach that they do. So faculty mm -hmm. is a better person who can guide you and help you in understanding, but provided you are willing to take the criticism from the faculty in a positive way. Yeah, yeah, no problem, sir. Yeah, because generally what happens is when we try to come out with the true facts, there are some children who will not be able to accept that criticism. So if the child and parent are willful, willingly uh, there to be positive towards the plus and minus that are being told by the faculty, I think that will be the better introspection. You can't always expect prizes from the faculty. Sometimes faculty yeah, no, have to be ruthlessly, ruthlessly true. So yeah, sir, we, we should and, accept the truth. We should yes. accept it. <laughs> because that, that is what introspection is like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fac sir. Faculty is a better one to help you in this particular regard. The faculty who taught the child, it can be from school, it can be from the college. College is a better one because they are the one who have taught the uh, child at their developing stage because that is where the actual process starts. Okay, sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Now. Any other? Any other? So shall we wind up the session? Sir, I am going to talk about discussions apart from subject discussions. I am going to talk about normal life talks for students. I am going to talk about discussions apart from only engineering and whatever we discussed. General discussion is not going to be discussed, sir. Ponisalu Pilal Concha meditate chest Natakam at Radamu Valan Concham Satai Sanatika. We try to come out to into a discussion. Kontaman the open up author, Kontaman the open car. We are trying to push them into discussion. Poko Sar Pudurthundi, we may extend the discussion, but sometimes mm -hmm. because of the constraints of academic completion of topics, Ponisar uh, district calls us. But generally, nice. whenever I do, I just poke the children with some sort of comment and then try to uh, ask them to come into discussion. Some of them come into discussion, some of them run away, some of them close their uh, videos and then they try to leave the classroom. But we don't lose hope. So oh. What ultimately we look for is uh, we want the child to grow up in our fold because we are right. the mentors for them. All Maybe right, one sir. or two days we may fail. Uh, one or two days failure doesn't mean that we have to lose hope. We continue Correct. to do it. Correct. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome. I thank think you. from my side, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good thank day. You. Take care. Thank Bye. you, sir. Same to you. Yeah, yeah. Sir, why different cutoffs for different casts? Why this reservation? Now, this discussion is out of my purview. Why reservations is something which is out of my purview. But I would just say one thing. If you have been provided with certain... Uh, 
incentives by the government take the advantage of it if there is an incentive given to you in the form of reservation take the advantage of it and then try to get into the top in the particular uh, incentive mode why i have no answer because it's a government uh, decision madhavi garu anything else from your side uh no sir pretty much clear thank you so much <laughs> so thank you all it was thank you sir uh, thank you so much thank you thank you all it was good interacting with you and uh, helping you out in clearing your doubts uh, probably we might come out with one more or two more sessions in the later weeks which i'll intimate you uh, at least a few days in advance thank right, you all sir. yeah right, thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you sir. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Yeah, thank you thank you thank you thank you all